Hello and welcome to a video presentation on variables and algebraic expressions. Here's what you'll learn. How to evaluate algebraic expressions. First, let's define a few key terms. The word variable. A variable is just a letter that represents a number whose value can change or vary. The word constant. That's a number whose value never changes or varies. It's always the same. The term algebraic expression. It means a sequence of mathematical operations that contains variables and constants. Now let's suppose we counted the number of coins in my pocket two days ago and found I had two pennies, one nickel, three dimes, and two quarters. A mathematical expression representing the number of coins in my pocket then would be two plus one plus three plus two. I had eight coins in my pocket two days ago. Now if we counted the coins again yesterday and found I had four pennies, two nickels, zero dimes, and four quarters, the mathematical expression changes to four plus two plus zero plus four. I had ten coins in my pocket yesterday. The point is the number of coins in my pocket can change or vary from day to day. And since the number of coins in my pocket can change or vary from day to day, we can create a representation of the number of coins in my pocket for any day using an algebraic representation. If I have some coins in my pocket right now, and we don't know how many because we haven't counted them yet, we could say I have P pennies, N nickels, D dimes, and Q quarters. I can use letters to represent the numbers of each of those coins in my pocket before I count them. When we replace unknown numbers with a letter called a variable, that is algebra. So the algebraic expression for how many coins I have would be P plus N plus D plus Q. Now let's evaluate some algebraic expressions. Let's evaluate T plus 9 for T equal to 7. The first thing we should do is start by writing down the algebraic expression. So I'll write down t plus 9. And now they want t to be equal to 7 in this problem. So I'll replace t with the number 7. And I'll rewrite the expression now as 7 plus 9. And then simply solve the expression. 7 plus 9 is 16. And that's the answer for this algebraic expression. Let's do another one. Let's evaluate 45 minus k for k equal to 12. First thing I want to do is write down the expression, so I'll write down 45 minus k. And since k equals 12 in this problem, I'll replace k with 12 and write down 45 minus 12. Now I can solve the expression. 45 minus 12 is 33. Now, one more thing I want to talk about before we continue with this lesson. I want to review the various ways you can write multiplication and division problems in algebra. Now, everyone's familiar with putting an x between two factors to indicate multiplication. This certainly means 8 times b. But in algebra, where we use letters to represent numbers, the x may be confused with a variable. And the expression above interpreted is 8 times x times b. So you're likely going to see other ways to show multiplication now that you're working with algebra. Factors may be written like this, 8 dot b, where the dot between the 8 and the b indicates multiplication. Or there may be nothing between the two factors, just 8 and b means 8 times b. Or you might see a set of parentheses around one or both factors. All of these represent multiplication. Writing multiplication in these ways eliminates any misinterpretation of the expression. Now, here's a warning for you. Common error ahead. Please pay attention. When you first start working with algebraic multiplication, it's common to replace a letter with a number. That's what you're supposed to do. But you may misread what you have written. Here's an example. Take the case of 8b. We know 8b means 8 times b. And let's say we want to replace the b with 5. So we're going to write down 8b to start. Then replace the b with 5. And look what you have now. You may read this as the number 85, not 8 times 5. 
So to avoid this problem, add parentheses around the number you substituted for the variable like this. When you do that, I will not mistake that for the number 85. Now let's take a look at some division. You're probably familiar with division written with the division sign like this, 22 divided by b. But you may also see everything written on the same line this way. 22 forward slash b also means divide. Or you may see division written vertically as a fraction, 22 over b, because fractions are division problems. So now that we understand how we might express multiplication and division in algebra, let's continue evaluating some algebraic expressions. Let's evaluate 3y for y equal to 5. First of all, write down the algebraic expression, 3y. And since y equals 5 in this problem, we'll replace y with a 5. And I'll put parentheses around 5 so I don't mistake that for the number 35. And then solve the expression. 3 times 5 is 15. Here's another one. Let's evaluate 12 divided by r for r equal to 3. First of all, write down the algebraic expression, 12 divided by r. Since r equals 3 in this problem, we're going to replace r with 3. And now we'll have 12 divided by 3. And so all we have to do is solve that expression. 12 divided by 3 is 4. Here's one that's a little bit more complicated. Evaluate 6j plus 14 for j equal 10. First of all, write down the expression 6j plus 14. And since j equals 10 in this problem, we're going to replace j with the number 10. And 6j means 6 times j, so I'm going to write 6 times 10 plus 14. Now we have two operations here. We're ready to solve the expression, but don't forget to follow the order of operations. We have multiplication and addition. What are we going to do first? Do you remember? That's correct. Hopefully you said multiplication. We've got to multiply before we add. So we're going to do 6 times 10 and rewrite the expression now as 60 plus 14. And the very last step is to add those two numbers together to get our final answer of 74. Let's do another one. Let's evaluate w divided by 3 plus w for w equal to 9. Well, let's write down the algebraic expression first. w divided by 3 plus w. Since w equals 9 in this problem, I'm going to replace both w's with the number 9. So I'll write down 9 divided by 3 plus 9. Now, once again, we're ready to solve the problem. But don't forget to follow the order of operations. We have division and addition. What are we going to do first? Hopefully you know it's division. 9 divided by 3 is what we have to do first. And that's 3. So we'll rewrite the expression now as 3 plus 9. And then solve 3 plus 9 for our final answer of 12. Let's evaluate 4h to the second power minus 2 times h for h equal to 5. Let's write down the algebraic expression again to start. 4h squared minus 2h. Since h equals 5 in this problem, we're going to replace all of the h's with a 5. So I'm going to write down 4 times 5 squared minus 2 times 5. Now, with all the numbers in place, we can solve the expression, but don't forget we have to follow the order of operations. We have some multiplication here, we have an exponent, we have a subtraction problem. What are we going to do first? The order of operations says the first thing we have to do in this problem is the exponent. Very good. 5 to the second power is 5 times 5. So 5 times 5 is 25. I'll replace that and rewrite the expression as 4 times 25 minus 2 times 5. Now I have two multiplication problems. They're a higher order of operation than subtraction. So I'll do the multiplication in order from left to right meaning I'm going to do 4 times 25 first. 4 times 25 is 100, so I'll write down 100 minus 2 times 5. Now I have one more multiplication problem to do. It's 2 times 5. 
and I'll rewrite the expression as 100 minus 10. And 100 minus 10 is 90, and that's the answer for this algebraic expression. Let's do one more. Let's evaluate 10 divided by A plus 7 times B for A equal 5 and B equal 3. We have two variables this time. We always start by writing down the algebraic expression. So I'll write down 10 divided by A plus 7 times B. Now I've got to replace the A with a 5 and the B with a 3. So let me rewrite the algebraic expression as 10 divided by 5 plus 7 times 3. Now that I have all numbers in there, I can go ahead and solve the expression, and I'm going to use the order of operations to help me do it. I've got division, multiplication, and addition. What am I going to do first? Well, we remember that division and multiplication certainly are higher orders of operation than addition, and as we do those, we do them in left to right order. So the first problem we're going to do is 10 divided by 5. That gives me 2, so I'll rewrite the expression as 2 plus 7 times 3. Now I'll do 7 times 3 and rewrite the expression as 2 plus 21. And the final step is to add 2 and 21 to get us our final answer of 23. Congratulations! You've learned how to evaluate algebraic expressions.